Hi, this is the Phoenix from Phoenix Rising Tarot. Here to do another weekly energy update for the sign of Leo. Just keep in mind these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Leo. So let's jump into this reading and see what is coming to for you guys this week. Spirit messages for my Leo. Messages for my Leo. I love to listen to the rain. I like to watch the rain too. Alright, so there seems to be some type of luck in your life at this point in time. Money may, may be a problem for some of you or there is some type of mindset that is keeping you back or holding you back from achieving something. But you do hold someone in high honor, in high regard. You do admire someone greatly. And communication between you and this person is definitely here. So you could be receiving a message from this person this week, a phone call, a text, an email, something of the sort. But you're definitely getting a message from that person. That is going to take you into a new direction. It is going to take you out of the mindset of feeling not good enough. Things are definitely going to be working in your favor when it comes to a love relationship. When it comes to a soulmate or a twin flame relationship. So there is some type of definite turnaround here for you guys. Spirit messages for my Leos. Spirit messages for my Leos. Alright, so let's see what's coming. Two pretty towers for you guys. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the five of wands. All right. So some of you are definitely having some type of quarreling, arguing, or dispute this week. Probably with a Libra. But there seems to be some type of karmic justice coming back around here. Could be a water sign you're connecting to as well. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. You could have this in your chart. They could have it in theirs. But there is a lot of love here. And I think you're ready to express that to someone via messages, a phone call, maybe speaking to them in person. But you're definitely ready to offer your love to someone. You're definitely ready to be more expressive towards somebody. Could be a Libra for some of you. But the part that you are going to take is going to make you feel quite single. You are finally going to gain your independence and you're finally going to be able to make decisions for yourself again. Because there was a heartbreak here. There was a definite disconnect and disconnection, right? But there seems to be a reconnection on its way. Because you're finally not being defensive against this person. You're finally not standing your grounds and you're releasing it and letting it go. And opening up to new possibilities when it comes to love. Alright? 
Yeah. So for some of you, you may be holding back, hiding, and being deceptive about the fact that you are in love with this person. Or you may have been sneaking around on this person with somebody that you see as your empress. But this person isn't behaving that way right now. The person you're deceiving may not have gone through a lot of challenges in life, may actually have been very pampered in life. But you want a new beginning, a new twister old relationship for some of you. Could be an Aries Leo or Sag you're connecting to as well. But you don't see this person as having gone through as much as you have. You see them as always having a support system and never really having to stand up for themselves. Could definitely be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But this person is in their emotions. They're not making rational decisions because they are in their emotions. So it's probably not that they were pampered or they were spoiled. It is more like they are in their emotions so they're not being very logical. Because they probably may have found out that you were making them a part of a third party situation. But they want to build with you. They want to connect with you. But there is a lot of fighting and quarreling happening between you and this person that is making them not behave like themselves. For some of you, it is definitely an Aries, Leo, or Sag you're connecting to or you want a new relationship with. But you see this person as living their best life right about now. Yeah. So you're going to make a decision. Ah. To break a home or a family or to give up on any ideas of having a home or a family with this person. For some of you, you may be married, it doesn't have to be, or you're in a long-term commitment and you're about to become single or you're going to decide to become single because you're ready to walk away from this relationship. Yeah, because you're in this energy of being controlling, quarrelsome, argumentative. You're trying to get your things your way, actually. But you're, in, you're finally coming out of this mindset of in lack, not being good enough, not having enough. And you're finally holding everything together the way you would like it to. Because a tower did fall here, you did have a realization and you're finally acting on the realization. Because you have made a decision to probably leave a home dynamic that was not serving you to move towards someone else. Yep. And this took a long time to happen. Could be a Pisces some of you are connecting to, but this took a long time. It was not a split second decision. You took a long time in deciding to leave the situation. But the person you are connecting to is being vindictive. They are in their emotions. They are trying to hurt you any which way they can. And for you, it is surprising because this person acts like they never loved you to begin with. Alright, so let's see. <clears throat> yeah, you're not taking action towards this person because you realize this person is not the person you want to be with. So for some of you, you're definitely going to be leaving a home dynamic or a long-term relationship. Yeah, because you don't want to start again with this person. You have decided to walk away from this relationship and this person. Because there is no growth potential here. 
So for most of you Leos out there, you're looking to move towards somebody else to start a new relationship. Yep. For some of you, you do feel stuck and stagnant with this person and you feel like there is no growth there. And it causes you to be in your ego and be very quarrelsome and argumentative. And this person just pushes all your buttons. Honestly, that is what they do. Alright, so let's see what is the overall outcome for this situation. Spirit, the outcome of this situation. Advice for my Leos. Hmm. Alright. <coughs> <coughs> so things are finally coming into alignment for you everything is happening how it's supposed to all the wheels of time is finally moving in your favor you are going to get the relationship that you want with the good potential and calm and serenity that you seek but everything had to take its divine timing but it is here. Things are definitely moving in your favor. Mm -hmm. You are about to choose a new path. You are about to take a journey in a new direction. But there is a lot of newness here. You are definitely going to be moving to something or someone that is definitely going to be fulfilling. You see this person as someone you can be vulnerable with. Someone that you can open up to, someone that is very sexual, sensual, and definitely not afraid to show it. You see this person as someone that you're very highly attracted to sexually. Alright, so this is what I have for you guys. I hope it does help. Have a good one.